Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is December the 3rd, 2016. I'm going to just uh, go over uh, what's happened this morning. This morning, I had uh, told myself, well, I'm not going to go on to YouTube and uh, unless, of course, the Lord uh, prompts me to. I'm going to stick to my studies today. So I had resumed where I was at in the Bible, which was in Acts um, chapter 9. And, uh, well, during uh, my introductory um, prayer moment with the Lord, I had basically had told him that, um, I, well, I had requested of him that uh, he grant me the Holy Spirit um, for him to pour out the Holy Spirit upon me during my studies. Uh, that way, if he had anything that he wanted me to come forward um, with today, that I would do so as prompted. I was a little bit into my study, and uh, one of the first things that had caught my eye uh, this morning so that you have somewhat of an understanding of what's uh, transpired here and prompted me to come on undoubtedly and uh, confidently is the fact that before I had taken to prayer, before I had um, asked the Lord uh, to grant me the Holy Spirit in my presence as far as giving me um, an assignment if he needed for me to come forward, I had watched a small portion of Rachel Loves the Lord uh, video pertaining to, um, I think it was entitled something to the effect of, there's going to be a great movement, movement excuse me, from God. Well, first of all, we both have known this uh, because the Lord has instructed us accordingly. And that goes back to a couple of videos um, back um, regarding the uh, Deborahs of end time to arise. Now, to fast forward through this, I have a message. I have an announcement, uh, as did uh, Rachel this morning. Um, and it's just to confirm, honestly, uh, believers, that God indeed is working amazingly through his servants. The first thing that was laid upon my spirit heavily during my uh, in my resuming reading Acts, please pay attention because that's where I was at. I just resumed reading. And as God would have it, He would have me particularly on chapter 9. The first thing that I want to, um, I guess, uh, bring attention to. Those of you who are preaching the gospel on Yeshua HaMashiach's behalf, if you are still receiving donations for the gospel, it has put, been put on my spirit very heavily to tell you today to halt Giving his children the knowledge of the gospel should be free. That's as far as I'm going to even touch on that one. Again, it's, it's uncomfortable. Um, but I must come forward and express what the Lord is putting upon me as I did ask for him to pour his spirit upon me during my, my studies. I wasn't even in five minutes into my studies before he prompted me to come forward with three things. That was the first one. And, uh, of course, there are scriptures that say that we should not charge in giving the gospel. Okay, so, and I will include those in the link, by the way. Anything that, that the Lord prompts me to come forward with, most of the time, 99% of the time, I will include scripture um, to back up what he is showing me. The second thing is 
the watchmen and maid servants who have taken a couple steps back. They've taken the bench. Our calling is not complete. He has put it upon my heart to call out to those who have been sitting on the sidelines or taken a back seat, perhaps because the judgment um, of others had really just worn on you. Please arise. Arise and resume your calling. He needs his children who were chosen as his voice but also to assist him in the gathering of his flock. There are many still lost souls that we must touch. Please resume your positions in the Bride of Christ. That's as far as I'm going to go with that. The last thing is to confirm indeed. Um, hold on, I'm getting a text here the last thing I shared um, was with Rachel uh, from Rachel loves the Lord she indeed is an asset to the body of Christ and as a sister in Christ I will um, encourage you to um, see to watch her video this morning in case that uh, video is a calling for you Please watch that video. It was entitled something to the effect of uh, God. Uh, there is a big movement of God. Or something to that effect. Anyhow, I have gone to Rachel and I have shared what the Lord has um, asked me to come forward uh, with. So, so please uh, just be aware of that. Um, perhaps it was uh, to give her confirmation also of, of the position that he has uh, given her. And he gave me um, the um, the confirmation in the scripture of Acts nine, uh, chapter nine, excuse me, ten through nineteen. I'm going to end it on God. Indeed, is utilizing His church to work with one another, to validate, to confirm how He is working in our lives. As always. And the instruction has always been on my behalf as your co-made servant. Take any potential prophetic word, vision, or dream. Always seek the Lord directly. Do not use a middleman to interpret your potential prophetic dreams. Seek the Lord directly. Only he will be able to tell you perhaps what you missed during that uh, vision or dream sequence that he has granted your eyes and your ears to hear.